Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much uh, for the opportunity being here with you today. Uh, uh, I was working in the Ministry of uh, Hungary twice between 96 and 98 and then later between 2002 and 2000, 2006. And uh, it's a pleasure for me just to share with you some of our experiments, uh, experiences uh, concerning, uh, uh, concerning inclusive education in, in Hungary. Uh, the PISA survey in 2000, uh, 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 the results of which became uh, public uh, uh, at the beginning for us uh, 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 in 2002, uh, caused a real shock in, uh, in the Hungarian, uh, let us say, uh, circle of uh, experts uh, uh, dealing with uh, education. Uh, it shows if you see the, uh, if you see the. Uh, 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 this, uh, this chart, this slide, that uh, uh, that uh, uh, the Hungarian uh, Hungarian uh, uh, results in the PISA survey uh, was really not good. Uh, we somehow uh, fulfilled uh, under the average of the OECD uh, uh, countries and other countries taking part in this uh, uh, taking part in this uh, uh, survey. But at the same time, what was really astonishing that uh, that. Uh, uh, the Hungarian education system uh, was very segregative, which meant that practically we had uh, three different worlds in one country. If you see the column A, the first one, it represents the results of the kids, pupils, who are attending the grammar schools, giving, uh, 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 giving a baccalaureate, uh, and the results of these pupils is still better than the average of the uh, Finnish students. If you see on the other hand, other hand the, uh, the column C, column C, this represents the results of the schools attending the vocational schools, four-year vocational schools, which give also a baccalaureate. And if you see the column E at the end, at the end, they represent the results of the of the students, uh, pupils in the vocational school without without uh, uh, giving, uh, uh, no giving uh, baccalaureate for, the, for their students. It means that, uh, that some of the, uh, uh, some of the uh, uh, schools provide much better results than the best, the Finnish best in this uh, survey, and the others are under the level, under the level of Mexico. Uh, uh, in this chart, you can see uh, the result of a national survey, so in a much wider sample than the PISA survey was itself, which shows the reading performance uh, 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 and, this, uh, uh, and this connection with the school type, how, this, uh, how the type of the school uh, which is attended by the pupils determine their, practice, uh, their, their, results, uh, their results in the different, uh, uh, different schools vocational schools with no graduation in the lowest level, then vocational secondary schools with graduation, then four grade, uh, four grade secondary schools with graduation, and at the end we have uh, uh, six and eight years secondary, uh, secondary schools, uh, which uh, uh, practically uh, attract, uh, uh, attract the pupils of the, of the, um, uh, of the families of uh, uh, better, richer uh, culture and social social background. The PISA survey also showed for us, showed for us that, uh, that the major factor uh, to explain uh, the differences between the performances of the student was the schools themselves, which school they attended. This explained 67% of, uh, of, of the differences. But there was another, uh, uh, other also very uh, uh, important uh, observation in this national survey that, uh, that what is the correlation between the reading performance of the kids and the highest education qualification of their mothers. The mother's educational level gave even a stronger correlation than the father's one. And it showed that those mothers who had uh, who had no 
who, who did not finish the elementary school, so they had only uh, zero to seven grades, uh, uh, the results of, uh, of their kids in the reading performance was uh, uh, 373, in, in, according to this uh, comparable with the PISA results, yes? And those who had a university degree, it was, uh, it was uh, practically twice as high. So it shows uh, uh, how the education system inherits the social differences. And this was the, this was the uh, uh, starting point where we had to start something. Uh, this is also from the PISA results. You know, this, uh, these different curves shows the correlation between the uh, index of economic and social and cultural status of the families, of the kids, and then the uh, performance level of the, of, the, uh, uh, of the students. And, and uh, 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 the black line shows uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the correlation between the student performance and the inter-school segregation. As sharp this curve is, as sharper the curve is, the segregation is higher. If we compare with other countries the same things, we see that in the Czech Republic, in Germany, later you will see in Slovakia, the situation is the same. While in Norway, as this curve is not so sharp, not so uh, uh, steep, uh, and in Poland, the inter-school segregation is much lower than what we have in Czech, in the Czech Republic, in Slovakia, and Hungary, Germany, and, and probably in Austria, uh, Austria as well. This is a Slovak, uh, Slovak, Slovak chart. In this, in this slide, you can see that uh, 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 there is a classification of the different countries in the PISA result according to great differences in opportunities, let us say, among the countries, and then uh, performance below the average. And you will find Czech Republic, Hungary, Germany in the same box there. Combining bad results and high segregation, which shows at the national level that an inclusive education, where there is no segregation, is not against the effectiveness of the educational system, but just the opposite. It serves to have a, a, a better effectiveness of the educational system. Uh, there are three major fields where we make differences of the uh, 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 differentiated uh, in different types of segregation. The inter-school segregation, which is the most serious one. The intra-school segregation, you know, and there are some statements about, uh, 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 about this segregation and the types of this uh, segregation. And of course, uh, uh, the segregation in uh, curricular and content-based segregation where they have different curriculums. In Hungary, we do not have so-called specialized schools what you have here. It's a great fortune. It's a huge advantage that we do not have that system. But in spite of this, uh, in spite of this, uh, the possibility which uh, what was given to the parents in 85, still in the old political regime, in the socialist uh, regime, that they, when the system was liberalized, that they could choose the schools where, uh, um, uh, uh, where they enrolled, they could enroll their kids, it started a spontaneous segregation process. And as it was, a, a, or in quotation mark, I say a liberal solution, and the new freedom for the parents. Even after the regime change, uh, uh, we could not change back the system and to have uh, to somehow uh, moderate uh, the bad effects of this. So we had to fight and to find uh, other ways uh, 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 to solve these uh, uh, to solve these uh, uh, to solve these problems. And as, a, as you see, as a consequence of massive segregation, disadvantaged children drop out or end up almost exclusively in vocational secondary schools that provide no segregation, that provide no graduation. This is the end of this, uh, this is the end of this, uh, uh, of this, in this process. And there are uh, uh, some facts is that one tenth drop out before going to secondary school, two thirds go to vocational secondary schools offering no graduation, and disadvantaged children are vastly overrepresented within the student population of the vocational school that offer no graduation prospects in the higher labor market. And of course, the Roma situation within the disadvantaged group is even overrepresented and even much harder. Uh, but, uh, uh, but the question of segregation is, uh, 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 it affects uh, three, partly and, uh, and, uh, 
and not totally overlapping uh, uh, social groups. One is uh, uh, one group is the uh, first group is the mentally or physically uh, 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 having mental or physical disabilities. Uh, children are having these. The other group, uh, the other group of those who have a uh, uh, bad social. Uh, uh, bad social and cultural background of the families, economic background of poor economic background of the families, and the third is the uh, ethnic dimension uh, uh, affecting mainly the uh, Roma population in uh, Roma population in Hungary. The number of which is much higher in Hungary. If you compare that the population of the uh, Czech Republic is practically the same as what we have in Hungary, around 10 million, but uh, but the size of the Roma population in Hungary is between 600,000 and 800,000 somewhere, according to some estimations, even higher. Uh, when we, for example, uh, 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 this chart shows that, uh, that uh, in the Hungarian education we have a normative uh, 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 financial support uh, 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 system, uh, it means uh, the first uh, 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 Red curve shows uh, how this normative support was changed, was changed time to time, from year to year, uh, 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 for those who, for those pupils who had no special needs and students with special needs. It's a very strange thing that when we decided, uh, uh, when we decided uh, radically raise, radically raise. Uh, 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 the support, the financial support, uh, uh, giving after giving the schools after uh, students with special needs, it had a contrary effect at the same time, because it started a kind of uh, disability business in the local governments, pushing more and more kids uh, into such classes or uh, to pushing them into such status in favor of getting more and more money. So it's a strange thing that, uh, that when we uh, wanted to solve financially this problem, we just accelerated the process of local authorities uh, for segregation. Then we changed this whole thing after 2002 when I came back again and we saw this process, what happened. And from 2003, uh, we gave three times more money if uh, these students with special needs were integrated in a mainstream class. And this is how we started to fight with them, and then created another financial incentive, not convincing them who you cannot convince, just paying them to behave in another way. Because it shows, you know, the result of this tendency that the red curve shows uh, the number of students between 6 and 14 in the, in the uh, oh, Elementary schools, it, it dropped from uh, uh, more than uh, 1 million to 900,000. At the same time, the number uh, after whom we paid the special need amount of money, you know, uh, it raised from uh, 30,000 to 50,000 because it became a local business to get money after that. Uh, but you know, as a politician, and this is the situation here as well, that, uh, uh, that there is a stalemate situation. On one hand, there is a pressure of civic organizations, very good, of international organizations, also good, uh, uh, to follow, uh, uh, to follow uh, the principles of inclusive education. On the other hand, they are members of political parties, being uh, uh, in power, and they, confront, they are confronted with the prejudices of their voters and their teachers. Most of the teachers and the, and the voters as well. So, in Hungary, when, uh, when we ordered from the ministry a survey, you know, only one fifth of parents and teachers support integration, all others favor some degree of segregation. Not too much support from teachers, not too much support from voters, from potential voters for any government. More than half of the parents would find it disturbing if their child had a classmate with behavior disorder or unpolished manners. One third would find it disturbing if their child had an overage classmate, uh, uh, one or, uh, 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 or one of his poor abilities. And, uh, and uh, uh, I, in quotation mark, in that bracket, I have to say that, for example, we uh, 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 we banned uh, 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 
uh, way bad for the kids in the first uh, four years, the repetition of classes in the school. We did not let the schools to push them back, uh, uh, push them back if they uh, could not uh, behave, uh, uh, could not teach them, train them uh, uh, through the uh, through a personalized uh, teaching method, etc. And the last room and poor classmates who disturb one fifth of the parents. So this is a stalemate situation when every government, every government uh, uh, suffers from that, and in the most of the cases, it results, it results no. Uh, real changes in, uh, in, in policies. Uh, <coughs> liberal reform, I say, because I'm a liberal politician. I was a member of the Liberal Party. I was uh, for 20 years in the parliament uh, from 1990 until, uh, until uh, 2010. And before 1990, I was a member of the dissident movement in Hungary, uh, having some connections also with, uh, with, uh, with dissident movements here in Czech Republic, at that time Czechoslovakia, Poland, etc. So, uh, so I was promoted for that, and there were three pillars of the uh, of the uh, uh, anti-segregation anti-segregation uh, program. One is a general anti-discrimination legislation, the guarantees of desegregation. This is very important uh, to accept them as a human right that kids have a right for having an education in the mainstream education. They have a basic human right to have uh, to to have a. a, a uh, to have inclusive, uh, to be a part of inclusive education. The other pillar of, the, of our program was specific measures and programs supporting equal opportunities and desegregation. Uh, this is what I show you now. It's a part of a longer, of a longer, uh, um, uh, longer presentation. It has about 70 slides or something like that. And the, and the last two points, the second and the third, uh, uh, I won't show you because we have no time, but uh, but we can send the organizers can send it to anybody who is who, who is interested. Who is interested? And the third one is general mobility increasing impact of comprehensive reform of education system in terms of content and methodology. It's very important, not only focusing for inclusive education, but at the same time focusing generally on education reform, which uh, which uh, increases uh, the opportunities to have equal chances in education for uh, uh, for for kids. But now speaking about the anti-discrimination anti legislation, which is very, it was very important, that, uh, that the Public Education Act especially, uh, especially included the ban of negative discrimination. Until that time, we had no such chapter, no such chapter in the Education Code, and as we could push it through there, later, even in the same years, uh, uh, there was a new act and promotion of equal treatment and equal, opportun equal opportunities. And the chapter of this is dedicated solely to education, uh, uh, partly taken, taken from, the, uh, from the education code that part had put into this general, general law. This, this created the legal base of suing all activities which are discriminative or segregative activities at the court. It's very important that you can go there and to sue them. Legal declaration of the rights of parents and students. This is what we did. We extended their rights, so the so the parents could prohibit to send their children to uh, uh, to segregated classes. We do not have, as, as I told, uh, special schools. And we set up an authority for equal treatment. It was a it was a in a governmental decree. It was an independent authority like an ombudsperson, something like that, but a whole office. And uh, they, can, they, can, they had several roles. One is a legal role that they could represent people at the court, to go to the court, to sue them, etc. So uh, if, they, if they saw problems in, uh, in, in segregation. Then uh, 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 the other possibility is, is being mediators in conflicts, in local conflicts. The third, giving advices uh, and reports to the ministry and to the government, etc., and to go to the parliament, as, uh, to, the, to go to the parliament. Uh, okay, let's go further. Uh, we reached some results. These are the PISA survey, the results of the PISA survey. You see that at the end, in, the, uh, in 2009, the results are already better, while in the case of Czech Republic, you have a uh, deterioration. Of the uh, in the performance in, in the performance reading performance of, of the PISA and uh, uh, this significant change 
in Hungary occurred mainly of the better results of the poorest, of the, of the, uh, of the worst, uh, uh, worst share of students who were integrated partly and, and had new methods of competency-based education, uh, education. At the same time, it's a segregation index. Segregation index. We have data only from 1980, 89, 92, and after it, yearly from 2006, you have the same problem as what we have, that there is not a proper, proper registration of, let us say, this is uh, about the Romas and the integration of Romas in the mainstream education. Uh, mainstream education. So it is based on such surveys that the headmasters uh, give an estimation about the, about the share of Romas in their school, and this is about inter-school segregation. So when we started this process, uh, in around 2003-2004, after it started to decline. Unfortunately, we do not have data about it. It went on until 2008, and then 2008, when the, uh, when the leaders of the ministry did not pay any attention anymore for these, uh, uh, for these uh, actions, uh, uh, the data became worse again. So it means, it means that it's very important that the uh, uh, high-level political leaders should be devoted uh, for such a fight for, for segregation, uh, for, for anti-segregation. And this is what we did, and, and, and I, uh, I will finish soon, that in 2002, when I returned to the ministry, we established a position of ministerial commissioner responsible for the disadvantaged and Roma pupils. This was very important, not just to have a consultation body with endless, uh, with endless discussions, uh, 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 no competency, uh, uh, doing a, practically doing anything, uh, just a club. So uh, the commissioner was an expert coming from an NGO, never worked before in the ministry or in the public administration. She, she, was, a, she was a lady, uh, uh, she had a long tradition uh, uh, a Roma, she was a Roma lady, she has a long tradition as a civic freedom fighter in, in, in NGOs. She became the commissioner. She became the commissioner. Uh, uh, she had an independent staff and was directly responsible to the Minister of Education. Not, she was, this commissioner was not put into the bureaucracy. It was a guerrilla squad, I have to tell you. And the bureaucrats of the ministry was, uh, well, was, were complaining all the time that what are they doing here, you know, because it disturbed the whole, whole, whole working of the ministry, because they had the right to comment and to stop all actions within the Ministry of Education. And then to push it on the level of the minister to decide whether their comments should be followed or not. So it created a, a very clear public discussion within the ministry, and as the different parts of the ministerial bureaucracy felt that if they do not take consideration the principles of inclusive education and the segregation process, then they cannot do anything because everything will be stopped and they cannot, uh, cannot follow their previous practice, then they started to change their mind. And now they started to, uh, uh, to well, uh, uh, to incorporate in their, in their minds uh, those notions. Then uh, they led a new institution, this National Educational Integration Network. We established such a network uh, with about, uh, with about uh, 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 200 uh, activists all over the country, giving advices to the schools uh, to implement mainstream, uh, 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 to have the desegregation process and to, and to push back uh, kids to the mainstream education. They cooperated with the authority of equal treatment and they cooperated with NGOs. At the same time, from my ministerial reserve, I financed NGOs from the ministry's money to sue the local communities at the court if there were uh, 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 segregated uh, activity, if they had segregated activity. It meant that it was practically, as I told you, a guerrilla squad within the, within the uh, within the ministry. And now, uh, uh, there were, of course, what, what I 
cannot speak a lot of other, uh, lot of other, uh, of course, lot of other important uh, uh, proactive projects. Uh, uh, some of them, a lot of them, from EU funds, which uh, just uh, <coughs> uh, mainstream, mainstream uh, modern pedagogical technologies with inclusive education together. And it shows some result of that uh, when uh, some of these schools, uh, 30, uh, 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 we choose 30 of these schools which took part in the program, and another 30 which did not take uh, did not take part in this uh, in this program. And it shows, for example, that from these elementary schools which were part of the program program inclusive education supported by new uh, education methods of cooperative, uh, uh, personalized, uh, and, uh, and competency-based education. There, uh, 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 the enrollment from these schools uh, to the secondary school providing graduation, vocational secondary school providing uh, graduation was much higher than from the control group, and uh, uh, schools is providing. But what is, is, what, what is even more important, that self-esteem of the kids in the schools in the schools was very different. So programs in the school with non-disadvantaged students, they self-esteem that they were together with disadvantaged students and, and, and they had a new type of community handling these programs, uh, uh, raised their, uh, 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 their self-esteem. These are the disadvantaged students, especially the non-Roma students and the Roma students as well. These are very promising, very promising results. And, uh, and it shows, the last, uh, last slide shows that the reading performance in the, uh, the, uh, those with a solid line uh, 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 in that school which took part in the program, this is for the uh, uh, fraction of Roma students in the class and the reading score of Roma students, you see that those who are inclusive is much higher than of the others in not integrated uh, classes or and uh, not new methods. And the, and the, the other uh, fraction of um, reading score of non-Roma students, it is not less because of the presence of the Roma students there in the, uh, there in the class. It just shows, it just shows that, uh, that there is an evidence for that, that inclusive education does not deteriorate the results of the non-disadvantaged uh, students. But this rational consideration is not enough. Prejudices are very strong. And, and, and the real question is that what kind of answers, I mean, what kind of answers a ministry can have for that, have for that. And it's not, this is why it's not only a professional pedagogical question, but at the same time a political, strategical, tactical question as well, that how can we realize uh, those noble notions uh, which are tied to the notion of, uh, of uh, uh, inclusive education and not just to have a fight-to-fight -fight position where uh, 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 the actors of the politics they do not dare to do the most effective things that should be done for uh, the desegregation education. Thank you very much for your kind attention.